This week's videos are sponsored by Lolo Body Care. Earth-friendly, reusable, biodegradable, recyclable skincare products for fiber artists just like you. I use several of Lolo Body Care's products every single day. In the morning after my shower, I use the Lolo Body Bar to keep moisture locked in all day long without any greasy residue. Before I put my socks on, I use O for feet's sake to keep the soles of my feet happy and healthy. And before bed, the moisturizing face pudding rejuvenates my skin overnight so I wake up with a face that feels refreshed. New to Lolo Body Care? Try their Go Go with Lolo package. Stuffed with sustainable, green, perfectly scented products, this on-the-go pouch has everything you need for your next retreat, road trip, or just to keep in the car for those unexpected go moments. And if you love subscription boxes, try the Dynamic Duo box. Each box features artisan handcrafted soap and Lolo to go bar. Choose your scents and they will be mailed to you automatically every month or every other month. Sign up for six consecutive subscriptions and receive the seventh free. The seventh even includes shipping. Lolo Body Care's line of handmade products is made with you and the earth in mind. To learn more, visit the links in the video description box below. Hello and welcome to this week's Finished Objects. If you are watching this for the first time, watching my channel for the first time, this week we do have a works in progress video before this, so you can uh, check the little eye thing in the corner. I'm still learning how to do some of this. How is it that I still don't know how to use technology? Uh, <laughs> so a uh, little eye in the corner, you can go and see the works in progress. Uh, this is finished objects. As I said in the last video, I have so much to show you. Um, a lot of little things really, but I have been really into the amigurumi kick and I think I said that on the last podcast. So... Uh, without further ado, let me show you what I have made. The first thing I want to start off with is an original design that I just finished for an event called Knit Disney, hosted by Dizzy Blonde Studios, Oink Pigments, and Laser Sheep Yarns. This is a wonderful, fun event. This year it was a little different. Um, normally what they do is they meet up in California and they go to Disneyland Disneyland and they spend a day in the parks and then they meet up and they have uh, just this kind of fun little giveaway event and they do like trivia and stuff like that. Um, however, of course this year that didn't happen, but they did have the event virtually and I believe Laura of Dizzy Blonde did end up going to the parks, uh, but um, I think it was just them. I don't think anybody else went. Anyway, they asked me to design a pattern for this year's Knit Disney, and I was the crochet designer. They had a knit designer and a crochet designer, and I was the crochet designer. This year's theme was Alice in Wonderland, so they asked me to design something specifically for the Dizzy Blonde colorway. There were three colorways. Um, so there was Dizzy Blonde's colorway, which was Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat, and then Oink Pigments and... Laser Sheep both had their own colorways. I do not remember. Uh, I know that Oink Pigments was called Who Are You, uh, E-W-E. And, but I don't remember what Laser Sheep was because I actually didn't end up working with Laser Sheep yarns. Um, I did get to work with the Dizzy Blonde yarns and then I was also given a skein of the Oink Pigments yarns. Um, but I think the Laser Sheep yarns went to the person who tested the pattern for me. So... Uh, actually, two people tested this pattern. One is Zach Stout. If you don't know Zach Stout, he's a wonderful, amazing crocheter. He tested this pattern in a whole weekend for me. This was a very quick turnaround, by the way. I had maybe a month and a week to get this pattern designed, written, and tested for this event. So, it, um, in fact, I think Zach finishes the weekend before. So, uh, and that's not his fault. So, uh, let me show you. 
It is um, a set of fingerless mitts and a matching hat. This pattern is called We Found Wonderland. You can find it on Ravelry or on my website, or for those of you who are given early access to Ribbler, um, you can also find it on Ribbler. But uh, I really, really enjoyed designing this. This was a lot of fun. I pulled some new stitches and techniques that I had learned from doing some of those Afghans by Helen Trimpton that I've been doing. I pulled some techniques from there. And I, th I think my favorite design element, especially of the mitts, is the little loop that goes around the third finger here. It just gives a little bit of shape. It makes it feel a little more elegant. And somebody actually mentioned if you were to do this in black or something, the texture would make you feel like you're going to... Um, like some kind of macabre event, uh, like a death cafe or something like that. Um, death cafe is not as creepy as that sounds. Um, a, a, a death cafe, um, is an event people go to, to discuss end of life, um, planning. They kind of discuss some of the newer, technology in the funeral industry it, it's kind of like it's like a yarn convention but for funeral directors but they're discussing kind of like the future of end of life planning and things like that um so it, it's not as macabre as it sounds it's more of just a there's a convention for everything right um so that's what a death cafe is it's actually i've been to one they're um for someone like me who struggles with end of life planning and kind of wrapping my head around the concept, because I haven't had to deal with the end of life a lot, um, I'm still very blessed to have a lot of my family members alive. Um, it's, uh, it's somewhere where I can go to discuss a lot of my questions. And uh, so it, it's very nice. Anyway, um, somebody said that if you did this in black or in a solid color, it would fit in very well. Um, cause it does kind of have an aesthetic. Um, the hat it's, uh, <laughs> actually what I kind of wish I had done is left the top open so that you could cinch it. Um, because now that I tend to wear my hair in a ponytail, um, it would be kind of funny to just have my hair sticking out of the top. And I know they make things like that, like the CC hat that Walmart stole and, um, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I kind of wish I had left the top open. Maybe I'll make a, a version where you can do that. Um, <laughs> I know that I, I think that Expression Fiber Arts has something similar. That's also a cowl. Anyway, that design again is available on Ravelry and on my website and on, uh, Ribbler. If you've been given early access to Ribbler, they are all available there. Um, I'm trying to make, I'm trying, I'm working on moving all of my patterns over to my website and Ribbler, uh, so that, uh, you have multiple, um, options for your pattern purchasing needs. Okay. Another thing, this is all over TikTok and I don't know what the obsession is, but um, I decided to jump on the obsession and I made little bees. I, obviously they're not yellow, but, um, I've been, <laughs> I've been making bees and they're so cute. I mean, I bought probably like a thousand safety eyes, so I needed something to do with them. But yeah, uh, these are so simple to make and so cute. And, um, I didn't follow a pattern. I kind of just made it up based on visuals. The wings were a little bit more difficult to figure out how to do, but I kind of took some of the, the bears I've been making. I took the basic idea for the bear ears and I kind of modified it a little bit to make the wings. So I just, I made a few of those and I've given some away and they're just, they're so cute. I love them. 
didn't take much. I, I think this is four and a half millimeter hook, both worsted weight yarns. Well, this is Karen Simply Soft, which is more of like a... Karen Simply Soft says it's a worsted, but I swear it's a DK. Um, and then this is just leftover worsted weight scraps that I had. I like this one because it's kind of tweedy and it's got a bunch of different little colors in the purple. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. Bees. And of course, my obsession with bears. So, um, again, the, the pattern I've been using for my smaller bears is by, I linked it in the last podcast and somebody tagged me or told me who to check out on YouTube, who funny enough is who the pattern is by. Um, I'll make sure it's in the video description box below. Anyway, here's one of them. He is adorable. Four and a half millimeter hook. Um, now, this is cotton. So the cotton doesn't bloom as much as wool or acrylic does and doesn't quite fill in all the holes. So while this is good... Um, I did decide to buy a four millimeter hook instead of a four and a half so that when I do, cause I've got more of this left over. Um, I want to, I want, you can see the stuffing. It didn't quite, the gaps are still pretty obvious. Uh, so I'm get. I did get a new hook to go down a hook size so I can use this. Um, this is left over from the lost garden. Oh, um. Let me put in some pictures right here. I did finish the Lost Garden Afghan. It is very beautiful. It is king-sized. It is currently on my twin bed, uh, but it is gorgeous. I'm very happy with the outcome. I wanted to scream on the last few rows because they are just yarn devourers. Whew, uh, it took forever to, just to do like the last four rounds. But uh, it is done. I did have yarn left over, and that is what I made this little guy out of, and I do plan to do some more out of the cotton. I really like the stitch definition with the cotton. It's also lightweight, and I think it has a, it has a pretty good look, and it holds its shape really, really well. So um, I'm going to definitely make some more out of the cotton. I also made one of these out of Karen Latte Cakes. However, I already gave that one away. I am going to make two more. I'm going to make one more small one, and then I'm going to make my larger one. I'm going to show you the larger one here in a second. Um, I'm going to make my larger one out of that too, uh, mainly because as I'm making the larger one, I'm going to be making sure that I'm writing the pattern down um, because I am going to make that available as a free pattern. Um, Latte Cakes is great because you can still see all of the stitches, but it's a little bit fuzzy. It's very soft. I actually like it because it's also cool to the touch. Um, so I really like that. But yeah, cute little bear. So let me show you the larger one that I'm uh, kind of modified from this pattern. And this is the one that you guys were like really ready to see. So here's, here's this big guy. Um, I need to modify the ears. They fold a little bit more than I would have liked. And I am going to adjust the muzzle. I think it needs to be a little wider and not as tall. Um, other than that, this is super cute. He's very, very stuffed because the, <laughs> the decreases around the body made a very geometric shape. Um, and that's something I'm going to play with is how to do the decreases. So maybe that doesn't happen, but large guy, four and a half millimeter hook. I love how this turned out. I think I would also use bigger eyes. These are only 12 millimeter. I think I'd go up to maybe 16. Um, but just as a comparison, come on, little guy, here's the difference in size. And I love this. I think they're adorable. Um, but again, I am going to make some adjustments to this one, mainly the eye size. I'm going to use some larger safety eyes. Uh, the muzzle is not going to be as tall. It's not going to stick out as much. Um, and it's going to be a little bit wider, so I think I'm going to increase one more row. And I'm going to play with the decreases around the body to see if I can remove the geometricness of it. 
it doesn't look bad now that it's stuffed, but he is so stuffed. Um, like there's no, he's, this is, this is pretty sturdy. Um, and that's maybe not necessarily a good thing. So I do want to kind of play with the decreases as I make this again and see if I can remove the geometric decrease of it. Um, other than that, I think he's incredibly cute and uh, I'm excited to make another one. So stay tuned for a bear this size in Karen Latte Cakes. The last finished object I have is probably my favorite in the group. Say hello to this guy. This is a teddy bear knit from Sirdar Alpine. It is a faux fur yarn. You know, like Lion Brand has that faux fur now that everybody's kind of crazy about. This is similar. It's sold from webs. I got this at Stitches West. And the pattern is the pattern that was made specifically for this yarn. I bought the skeins and I bought the pattern specifically to knit this teddy bear. Um, he's got his green, all the fur's in the way, but he's got his green safety eyes in there. Cute little safety nose. It's not perfect. And I'm going to be honest, this was not an easy project. Um, this yarn is very difficult to use. It You cannot see the stitches. You... Uh, part of this, I was guessing. I was hardcore guessing on how to do this. And when it tells you to seam it up, I am telling you, I, again, was guessing. Um, when you sew these pieces on, again, a huge guess. You may not be able to see it, but this is the back seam. I can feel it. So I didn't even sew his head on correctly. I got his, this should, the seam should be here and it's here. Um, so I didn't even sew the head on correctly, but the, the seaming directions were not incredibly clear. I also did not get his eyes level and his nose is slightly that direction. It needs to be a little more this way. Um, but other than that, he's super cute. The pattern actually is not that difficult. And I did this, I think, in a day. Um, I actually have some yarn that is from Bernat. It's a very, it's a velvety fur yarn. Uh, and I'm going to try this pattern again in that yarn. Uh, not for a little bit. I've got a few other things I want to finish first, but um, this is probably my favorite. I've had people ask for this and no, you can't have it. He's too cute. I'm keeping him. Sorry. Um, I may buy some more <laughs> faux fur and do, a, you know, maybe another one. But no, this this is this one is mine forever. Um <laughs> right on my shoulders here he's my best friend now okay <laughs> so that's all my finished objects for this week thank you so much for joining me uh if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and uh then hit that little notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a video the next video i'll be uploading is my sewing updates i do have a couple of little things to show for that um so stay tuned to the channel for that video and i will see you again next time here on the sparky your on crafts channel thanks bye